Three young Māori boys have a dream. A dream of reaching the pinnacle in rugby. And to help them fulfil their ambition, we sent them to the School of Hard Knocks. For the boys on the International Rugby Academy's high performance course, the past two weeks has been a solid diet of rugby, but now there's a bit of R&R on the menu. They'll spend a couple of days at the River Valley Lodge in the remote headwaters of the Rangitike River. Definitely good to get away from the rugby scene a bit. We had a full-on week and the boys just looking for a good time. And yeah, we found it. It was a good weekend. We were better, yeah. The boys are left to their own devices and they obviously don't need coaching on how to relax. I eat, you know, pai tomato hariki ki kora. Me ki moena i tama mai tawa he 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 wā pai ki a hari atu te fiji pōro ke kiti ngā mea hau i te huatanga o Aotearoa. So, oi, ki hari ki ki kora, ki te mahi ngā te bungee, te whitewater rafting, me te... I was involved in two activities um, when I was there, the deep um, Thai uh, massage, tissue massaging and the, the river rafting. Both were real exciting, uh, the Thai one was real good for my body, the river rafting was awesome, scary, exciting and thrilling at the same time, it was, it was just awesome. We were going off this um, a grade four rapid, and we got stuck on a rock just above um above a water a waterfall, and the, the the rapid was called New Rapid, I think. Yeah, and we were all supposed to go down the right hand side, but we all we ended up going down the left hand side, and so our boat tipped, and I fell off the waterfall and landed on a rock and hurt my back. Probably uh, probably a weight limit there. Nah, but um, nah, nah. He was he was one on the other boats. I'm sure he was uh, trying to get near the the ladies or the ladies on the other boat. Time is running out before the climactic game against Manawatu, and Jody's new rafting injury is the last thing he needs. On my ankle, the, um, the doctor said oh, I, I can play, but I just have to, you know, just strap it every time I play so I don't risk rolling it again. But with my back, I can run now, but I just. And any of the contact, I gotta just go easy on it because I might aggravate it. Me ki inga 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 tau ko pahuri ko nui o ku mamai a pakahui so i i nei wā ko ko mahi i nei i nei session di wahora oh yeah we fuck a mamai no so kare o piringi ki kino aki mui te kimi hoki mui te i te takaro o te nei tau so i am i i te Strap, get the um, the tape. You don't get good at kinoaki. Sick! Get it back, come on! Everything is about the team now. Just trying to gel them together, and all the things that they've learned, hoping they can put into their performance. But um, everything's got to gel in regard to pattern and etc. So um, yeah, better be to focus on the next few days. It's gone by pretty quick actually, um, I guess it's probably just from the weekend just flew by and everything's um, seemed to be passing by pretty quick. Um, yeah but um, yeah, we've learned a lot lately and it's about taking that in. And, um, big game on Thursday so hopefully um, everyone takes what we've learned in, in pretty much the three weeks and into the game and see what happens.
Man, I reckon they're really good hands. Like, um, you know, I've mentioned you already, but um, I, I don't reckon they dropped the pass um, leading into their first game. But unfortunately, we scored a couple of tries um, out near him, but the pass went back inside as opposed to going his way. A midfielder gets the ball under pressure. If he doesn't hear anyone, he hangs on to it. An opportunity lost for you. Um, we scored two tries with you running outside unmarked. Mate, if it's me, I'd be screaming at a guy inside of out here. Maybe um, you would. One was, I was, I was screaming. Okay. Okay, we'll scream that. He worked really hard, actually. He got off his wing a lot. He did, you know, it's a typical wing. You know, a lot of work that's um, um, sort of goes unrewarded. He, he did a lot of uh, did a lot of defensive work, a lot of um, covering and behind, etc. You're a good bugger, aren't you? Uh, you? You train hard, you, you never complain. You don't talk enough. You never complain, you know, that sort of thing. So you're really happy with the attitude. Uh, I know the um, outside back specialists were very appreciative. Uh, Mark Ellis and Jeff Wilson both spoke highly of And um, so it's just a case now, mate, of you know, Thursday, just talk it up and get involved. You're working really hard when you're close to the pill and we go through ball support, which has got you instinctive and as opposed to feeling your way in, happy with that. Um, you throw, I reckon you're throwing a whole lot better even last night in that room than you were, say, um, a week ago. So, obviously, you wouldn't throw the ball have a lot leading into the game. Obviously, um, if he wants to progress as a hooker, he's going to have to work really hard in his throwing, which, you know, as we've seen from him already this morning, he's, um, he's throwing really well. You know, he's got a good flight. And so, technically, he's, uh, he's well on the way. He's just a bit of confidence now. Let's have a look to the game um, this week. Set face. Line out scrums all got to function. Um, and then you're the fourth Lucy. So I want to see you with the ball in your hand. So I want to see you with some really big defensive work. I mean, you use your frame really well, cleaning out. And I want to see it um, defensively around the fringe. You've got to tackle me. I'm in here. You're going to, you're going to be reasonably hard, you know, depending on where you normally tackle. Now, what's happening is that you're about there and you're starting to commit off your feet here. Now, this guy just happens to go like this. Instead of you having him here now, you're grabbing around his ankles. You may make the tackle, but you may fall off it. So you want to be looking when you're going to tackle me, is to tackle about a metre beyond me. So it means you're going to, if I, even if I step away a little bit, you'll get a foot close to the tackle, which means you'll get a solid shoulder and make the tackle. He, um, he battled a bit, um, mainly just because of body height. You know, he's a big man. And uh, so if, um, if he's a little bit high in the scrums, then. Um, and he's going to get exposed, but uh, he lifts well. He's a, he's a big boy and being tall, um, you know, he's certainly getting a locks way up here. So. The biggest thing from my point of view is um, look, it's not just about what happens on the field or the training field, it's about all the off-field issues as well. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think while you've been injured and you've missed out, maybe working directly with some of these coaches, you still have, you still have the opportunity to stand with them, to listen to the same to other guys in your position. Yeah. And a few of those times, you sort of parked yourself 100 metres away, lying down on the grass, talking to someone else. The specialist coaches and the quality of the coaches that have been here, Eddie Jones, Graham Henry, Wayne Smith, Nick Mallet, all international coaches. You know, they've got a vast amount of knowledge and you really want to be tapping into everything. But after their weekend away from rugby, the boys seem to have lost a little bit of momentum. Your body language, your attitude in there, it's, it's just pathetic. It makes me wonder if you actually want to be here. Basically, your response to instructions has been the first one. No communication, no positive reinforcement from each other. You know, it's sharp enough. I don't know what the situation is. Maybe you had a big lunch or something. But it's absolutely not good enough. So let's encourage each other. Let's sharpen up. Let's follow instructions for this session and the next session and act as if we want to be here. So dark green down there, light green down there, yellow. If motivation's what's needed, the next phase of the course will provide it in spades. Advantage line, you heard of that? Not at me. Yeah, it's the battle, isn't it? It's the battle of this thing. That's what rugby is played for. That's the game, isn't it? If you win that advantage line as a defensive team, they can't attack, because forwards are running backwards. 
to that breakdown? And how can they attack from there? And you can turn the ball over you win that advantage line because you throw a few more guys in there. So it's the winning of the advantage line on line defence which is important. Well, it actually was mind-blowing standing in the same room as me, the all-black coach, all these superstars. Because of my injury, I couldn't take part in, in the activities. I was really, you know, distraught about that. But it was just, I had a bit of a chat to him um, yesterday about Gisborne. He knows Gisborne. And, yeah, well, that, well, that kind of picked me up a bit. But, yeah, it was just, it was just good to be around him and learn, learning what he had to offer and showing the boys what he taught the All Blacks. It was just, it was just awesome. Defence, when is a tackle made? Stand up. Name? David. David? Yeah. There you go. Good face. Good. Come here. So David, I make the tackle on David. He goes to ground, all right? And there's two or three players from each side are contesting that tackle area. Yeah, it was just good, eh? I mean, just got in there with the boys, eh? Just made them feel a lot more comfortable because asking questions and like learning all our names and stuff. I uh, see the old footy, um, you already knew footy's name before you even asked the question, eh? So footy and big head. And I want you to defend. Now there's going to be a lot of defence at the tackle. So you have to set up your rock, your dog and your one. Okay? I want strong hold. So I don't want to just smashing each other, but I want strong hold so it's, so it's, uh, we know what we're doing. So dark green down there, light green down there, yellow with me here. For most of these players, this is the first chance to impress an All Black selector. But spotting talent in this age group is nothing new to the former headmaster. Yeah, I think I enjoy coaching any age really, but I used to, that's where I started. I coached first 15s and, and schoolboy teams. And I really enjoyed it. And, and this morning I enjoyed it as well. Like, um, I didn't know any of them. Uh, but they, they're good because they respond well and, and they're keen and on each and they want to do it and want to please and what else can you expect? You know, Nick Mallet was right in there getting in our faces telling us to, you know, if you don't tackle the miles just catch a boat home and leave now. And um, Graham Henry was just easy going, making sure we had the technique going. But in a way it was sort of the same just different personalities towards it. I want you to tackle, first guy tackles, and then the other three defenders make a decision. Are you going to go in there, or stay off? Kako <laughs> I think you've got to adapt. Um, you're not going to get the same skill level and uh, the ability to switch on quickly. Like you have to be a bit more patient because you're dealing with a different group of people you haven't, you haven't dealt with before who are younger, who are not used to that sort of thing. So your personal expectations have to drop a wee bit for a, for a one-off situation. But if you're dealing with them for a a reasonable length of time, you would expect uh, them to come up to those expectation levels. Nine, nine, nine. Yes, I... I thought he was quite surprised with how much we knew before he came into it, so oh, I reckon it was just awesome seeing him, meeting him, and having him by our sides teaching us things. No, I like it's bloody good. I'm surprised how good you are. Just think the tackler needs to be more dominant. I know that this is an artificial situation. If the tackler is more dominant, the decision maker, the second defender, can do a business, can't he? You, you can see talent. And um, I remember watching Inga Tuatlamala 
play as a schoolboy at Kelston Blues High School, the best player I've ever seen it at that age. Unbelievable. Um, and they do come through. But I also coached a boy at Auckland Grammar School in the 1970s. 75, 76 was an outstanding winger and didn't go on. And he's probably one of the best wingers I've ever coached at a level. And uh, didn't go on. Okay, he got a couple of injuries and he sort of he sort of faded away. So um, even though they've got talent, it requires just more than talent. It requires dedication. It requires a wee, needs a bit of luck as well, I guess. But guys really working hard at their game to come through, even if they've got talent. He he did a king on to one. Te mohi o māsau, i e waka hara mai he e kai pa kākou tino ranga tira ori tiki a rātou me, me kahaki o māsau mahi um, ki ngā taumata teitei, so um, ai, tino pai ki hara mai hara mai e ki te kōrero ki mātou uh, me, me te whaka ui ana mohi o tanga nei, ai, i te hava nei i kāhato māsau mahi, kahai e ki te, ki te mihi mai But well done, very impressed Thank you, thank you Stephen Thank you Graham The foreign players on the course are in for a new experience and a break from their carefully controlled diets. Hangi is one of my favourite foods. Bat and boil up, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, middle bits. Who's never put a hangi down? Put your hands up. Um, well, it's, it's a cultural thing, really. I, I, for a lot of these guys, um, they still have perception that there's a few Māoris running around in grass kits in the hill, it's, you know, eating people and all this sort of thing. So, so uh, it's just a, learn a little bit about Māori culture. So, so a neat experience for a lot of these boys who wouldn't have wouldn't have seen that sort of thing before. Some of these other like other guys from other country are there, really looking forward to tasting it for the first time. So, just want to make sure it's real perfect for them. That's the first time I've ever seen someone do a hanging like that. Eh? Normally, when you do it, you do it properly. Eh? Put the fire in the hoe, make 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 the pit a lot um, hotter. Most people back home they do them in steamers, but I prefer them in the ground the old-fashioned way. They're nicer. Cooked by the mother earth. Dr. Papa, he's the hangi man. He's the one that does all our hangis. Back when we were young, he, we used to get up at about three o'clock in the morning, eh, just to watch him light the fire. And we just, just sit there until it, um, until it was ready to um, put the kai in. So the old man's um, he's the hangi man at home. Oh, if he if he wa ka ka tunu he hangi te konga. Um, he di meki ko reo te chino. Rata e ahu nui rau te mahi mo ku meki. Ah, he di pai 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 te te kite um te ahu tango o o o te kai o mato mato tu puni ngai rau rau mua na te kite ke fa kato te ki nei um tama mai mai tawa he chino pai mo rata meki. Grab your shovel and start covering it up. Be careful. Okay? Alright? Yeah, 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 good boy, good boy. A few formalities tonight as well. They'll have an official welcome and have a car and they'll be welcomed in. Um, Wudamu will um, welcome them. Um, and they'll have a waiter and we're going to get uh, Moy to reply and they've organised some music for, um, for all three. We're going to have a waiter. Um, Come out here from Moy, and then we've got an African boy speaking and an African, African song sing. And then a Japanese chap, Sake, will speak, and uh, we've got a Japanese song to back him up as well. So it should be a good night. Yeah.
始めた君に幸せあれ<笑>バズダップラトゥフェルリーダーのハカイ、カザムハモーバハカピュースンのワイアンワイフメン。バイアウトラマビスタナイ、フィーリングルバラ、ジスタンのスタッフパランザイ、ロフラケテカフォンエヴァン。アイ、イトポナイ、ポフリアナ、ティアワネメ、メトゥテテイキテキテファカオクナコレロ、アファイコレロ、アナ、コイノーテテテ、タナテイコレロ、マウリアニコネ、アシュヤクイングリアン。Oh, he, 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 me a pai a hakoa, he ahua. He nui ngā pūri te hui o te toku. Toku tina nei roa i nai nei kōnuna fa mea, kare noa u kia. Tino ako, ako ki era mahi no reira. Ngai e pai tonu, kia, kia huri hei ranga tira, kia whakātū mai ki inei tama pēhe, pēhe roa mātou mahi a hinga, hinga Māori. Kia last time mai tō ranga tira tanga. Kia me te ata we pai ai ki runga ki te whenua Kia riti anō ki tō te rangi O mai mātou nō te Tēnā ranga tira Rāwari Rāwa rāwari Tēnā ako e taku e hoa Ranga tira ngā hau e whā Kia ora koutou Me ki hoki He wātua tahi tēnā i moe te honga tama Kia tai te kite i nei ahua tanga Māori Ara hoki ko te hāngi, ko te pōwhiri. Nō reira, he mea tino pai mō rātou. He te piringau ki te mihi ki ākoe. E, karaua i kora. Karaua, ai, ai. Kia ora mō tō āwhina mai, ki te whakātū mai i nei tama. Mai tā wāhi. Ara hoki ki te tū, ki te kōrero, ki te whakauru mai a mātou ki tēnei wharea a tino pai. Ara hoki ki a kōrua, ngā wahi nei i kora. Kia ora mō te... Karanga mai e mātou, ki tēnei whare, ki aura rawatu. Nō reira, mōhi au he āhua tanga hau tēnei mō e nei tama, he te mōhi au ko tino mate kai, tino hia kai rātou, ka tai au te rongo i ngā puku e nuku nuku haere ana. Nō reira, kore roa, ku kore roa, engari ke te piringau ki te mihi atu, ki aura mo te āwhina mai, ki aura mo te whakātū i nei tikanga ki nei tama. Nō reira, ka kore roa, ku kore roa, mōhi ai ke te tino pirangi rātou ki te waiata i nai nei, waiata i era waiata tino pai. Nō reira, ka mutu o ku kore roa, nō reira, kia ora anō. Nō reira, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Kamate, 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 kamate. Oh, that's pretty good. Top of the line, it is. Yeah, I think, I actually, I actually think he outgunned it all, but kore roa. Yeah, I think he did too. Kau gan yau kono, too much on moi. Just about learning a little bit more about each other. I mean, they're a reasonably tight group now. They've had a week together and they had a weekend together, which often brings them together a little bit tighter. So uh, they've had a really good time. And, Making the hard work now, so uh, and yeah, it's a nice just part of that. The international flavour of the Academy is further enhanced with a strong taste of Wallaby, possibly the greatest ever. When you talk about leadership, there's a lot of myths that abound about leadership. You know, still hear some people say that you've got to be born a leader to be a great leader. You know, how many people have heard people say that before? You know, how depressing is that when you think about it? Oh, Mickey, he tino me tu Mickey, ne? Tino, tino rongo nui, ko ia noi ho te tangata, ko Johnny o noi ho te tangata i ko a toa i te World Cup, but a ko ia te kāpene. So he tino, tino rongo nui, tino nui ngā tangata i tino kaha ki te aki aki ki oa, he tino kaha a rangatira. So ki te whiwhi a Johnny o e hara mai ki te kōrero ke māta, he tino pai. He nui ana kōrero, ka tai e mātou 
te uh, tikina, me te, me te hariki o mātou tīma, uh, me te pōtu ki rātou. Yeah, you'll hear a lot of other people say that leadership is something that go, goes with title. That if you're the captain of the team or the vice captain or the coach, then you are the only leader of that team. Yeah, it's, it's wrong. Now, all great teams have leadership right throughout the team. And uh, I look back over the, the best Wallaby teams that I played for, and they were great teams because there were so many leaders in the team. Not a lot of captains, but, but a lot of leaders within the team. We i kaha ia ki te kōrero mai, a Johnny Oz ki te kōrero mai, kore kore kou he kotahi te te rangatira i ia tīma, a rā ko te kāpene, kore kou, o te mea nui, he ko ngā, ko ngā tangata i te kaumārimanga i rungi te whira, ko rātou ka toa he rangatira. Pro tōna kōrero, ki a ahakoa kotahi te kāpene, he kāpene ka toa me ki, so, um, kia piki te rangatira a tīma ka, 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 ka toa. So it starts with you and it finishes with you. You can make a difference and that is the challenge you have. As a leader, the biggest challenge you have, going back to your environments, is to actually make a difference. I'll go back to the boys, to my other boys, and show them what I've learned. All, the, all this information that I've gotten from professional coaches and I'm hoping it'll just help our team out as well this year. A big part of rugby is making opportunities out of opposition mistakes. In this case, the Wallabies' loss is a gain to the International Rugby Academy. 